words instead of barks. And that's how he was able, that's how he was able to do all that amazing stuff and, you know, save so many people and 10,000 people were basically became martyrs because he told them about the power of Jesus Christ. And I think my phone said it, it's about to run out of space, but it says I have till 43 minutes and there's 33 minutes going right now. So let's keep on with this. Um, this uh, next chapter chapter oh okay so I'll read this little part real quick of the years that have passed away from the world from Adam to the flood was 2,262 years from the flood to Abraham was 1,100 or, sorry, 1,015 years. From Abraham to Exodus of the people from Egypt was 430 years. From the Exodus of the people by the hand of Moses to Solomon and the building of the temple was 400 years. From Solomon to the first captivity, which Nebuchadnezzar led away captive, was 495 years. From the first captivity to the pro prophesying of Daniel was 180 years. And from the prophesying of Daniel to the birth of our Lord was 483 years. All these years make 5,345 years. From Alexander to our Lord was 303 years. From our Lord to Constantine was 341 years. See that? From our Lord to Constantine. They even count Constantine as like someone to mark a date. Constantine is the one that mixed paganism and Christianity. And that's why the Catholics pray to idols. And it's exactly what God said don't do. That's why he punished Israel so badly is because they went to worshiping idols immediately after leaving Egypt. And they still did it all the time. And then what does Jeremiah say? And you can all fight with me and I don't even care. Jeremiah said, you bow down before every green tree. He's talking about Christmas. That People cut down trees and put them in their living room, put presents under them because they're celebrating Yule, which is a pagan holiday. So... If you celebrate Christmas, think about why you're doing that. My little son at, said to somebody at school about Christmas, why he doesn't celebrate it. And the little girl said, yeah, I know. Christmas means merry death of Christ. That's what it means. Go look it up if you think I'm lying. And I don't even care if everybody hates me because of what I just said. I could care less. I side everything I do with Jesus Christ. I Go watch my video about Christmas if you, if you like even doubt what I'm saying. Go look up the real meaning of what Christmas was. And you say to me, or say to God, oh, I don't care, That it's just like what we do. No, God said to, to break away, he said to hate your parents. You know what he's talking about when he said to hate, Jesus said to hate your parents? He's saying, if you don't hate your parents, then you're not worthy of me. What he's talking about is if you don't leave your parents pagan religions, then you don't love me. And what did Abraham do? Abraham, he smashed all the idols that his father Terah was making, and he put the axe in the biggest idol's hand and said oh he did it and then the father's like well they can't do that they're fake and abraham's like yeah so why are we worshiping them why do people worship them and he was brought before nimrod and nimrod put him in a fiery furnace and jesus kept them safe god kept them safe even back then same thing as shadrach meshach and abednego it's the same thing god tests you in the fire sometimes it's real fire it's like my house burnt down four years ago when i lost everything i have sometimes god burns down everything you have, and then he gives you all of it back. Ten times more. Abraham became the father of many nations, like all the nations of the world, because he was tried and he was tested, and God chose him. God chose Abraham, and forever he will be, you know, the father of all the nations under, you know, under God. That's amazing. That's amazing to me that he kept, God kept his promise to Abraham. There's so much more to that story that we don't have. Well, in the canon, but you can read it like in other texts. So, um, from Alexander to our Lord was 303 years. From our Lord to Constantine was 341 years. In the year 438 of Alexander, the Macedonian, the kingdom of the Persians had its beginning. Know, oh my brother readers, that from the beginning of creation of Adam to Alexander was 5180 years. So 5,180 years from Adam to Alexander. And this just tells you, like, the kings of the Persians, 
so that you can like like read the lineages as they go down. I'm just going to read the one that says about Adam. So it says, um, there's 306 years. The sum of all the years from Adam to this 15th year of Kosra the Conqueror, which is the 900th and 16th year of the Greeks, is 5861 years. From Adam to the crucifixion is 5,280 years. The whole of the Jewish economy, therefore, from the times they went out of Egypt until Jerusalem was destroyed by Titus, was... 1,601 years from Abraham to this year is 2,031 years and I'm only telling you guys all this like reading all this because um, some people are into like genealogy so they can read it all um, you know I know it's confusing for a lot of other people or they just care not to read it all so I'm just gonna let you um, read it for yourselves in your own time I'll just pause here and I'll read this paragraph here for you. I just don't want to read a bunch of just ex all these names because it gets um, yeah I'm not going to read that paragraph either because that's like kind of just names and genealogies too so these are just like all the it's cool to go backwards because you can see like all the all the footnotes and stuff first it's a lot of work that goes into all the, all of this studying all the people that did all this like crazy amounts of work to put all this stuff together it just amazes me it's talking this is all just people that were buried and like the names of the eastern catholics and the successors of the apostles, chapter 51. And, like, you can say, like, oh, it's Catholic. No, guys, you got to understand, like, they everything, like, the original Catholic Church, they, they, it, it was very quickly taken over. I mean, even in as Jesus was still alive, they were, like, taking over the church, like, and kicking, like, his disciples out of their own ministries and stuff like that. So when it says Catholic on a lot of stuff, you got to understand, you know, the Catholics have like all of our texts in their library. They stole all of our stuff. So we're kind of like stealing it back in a sense, if you will. So of some minor matters, I'm just going to read this and then we'll end it. I got to read fast though so we can get through this. These are they who were married among the apostles, Peter, the chief of the apostles, Philip, the evangelist, Paul, Nathaniel, who is Bartholomew, Labias, who is Thaddeus, who is Judah, the son of Jacob, Simon, the Canaanite, who is Zelotes, who is Judah, the son of Simon, the child whom our Lord called and set in the midst and said, except ye be converted and become as children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven, was Ignatius, who became patriarch of Antioch. And you can go read Ignatius's work on uh, Robert Frell's scriptural-truth.com website. Um... He saw in a vision the angels ministering in two bands, and he ordained that men should minister in the church in like manner. After some time, this order was broken, though, broken through. And when Diodorus went with his father on an embassy to the land of Persia and saw that they ministered in two bands, he came to the Antioch, his country, and reestablished the custom of their ministering in two bands. The children whom they brought near to our Lord that he might lay his hands upon them and pray were Timothy and Titus, and they were deemed worthy of the office of bishop. The names of the Marys who are mentioned in the Gospels, Mary the Virgin, the mother of our Lord, Mary the wife of Joseph, Mary the mother of Cleopas and Joseph, Mary wife of Peter, the mother of Mark the Evangelist, and Mary the sister of Lazarus. Some say that Mary the sinner is Mary of Magdala, but others do not agree with this and say that she was other than the Magdalene. Those who say that she was the Magdalene tell us that she built herself a tower with the wages of fornication. And those who say that she was other than the Magdalene say that Mary Magdalene was called after the name of her town, Magdala, and that she was a pure and holy woman. All right. Whew. Tried to get that out before I run out of time. Uh, I got one minute left. I uh, just want to say God bless you all. Thank you so much to uh, everybody that has uh, commented, even if it's a mean comment, I, I don't mind. I, I pray that you find Jesus Christ, and I pray that, um, you know, you might read some of this stuff and and, um, and just knock, and, he'll, and, you know, Jesus will answer the door. So thank you all, and God bless, and have a great night.